So let's get started by first going into your Google account. If you're going to start search engine optimization, it's a good idea to start with the top dog in the market, which is Google. So if you have a Google account, go ahead and log into it. If you don't, you can create one and you can use any email address that you have in order to do so. So once you have your Google account created, the next thing you need to do is find out if you even exist in Google's uh, search results. And the easiest way to do that is to search for your website using the site colon search option. We're going to be working with Harmel's Dude Ranch today, so we'll start with them. So we're going to do a simple search for harmel's.com. We're going to tell Google we want to see just the site. And if you notice here, we get 131 pages of this Dude Ranch that have already been indexed. So that's a big plus. If you're not in Google yet, the first thing you'll want to do is add your URL. And you can do that simply by going to Google and typing in add URL. And the first link obviously is going to be Google's add URL tool. And it's pretty simple. You just type in your URL name, some comments if you want, and the key code here, you're good to go. Now, if you have access to a sitemap, it's also very beneficial to upload a sitemap to Google so that it can find right up first all of your pages. The software that we use is iControl Web Studio and, and iControl provides us a sitemap generated dynamically from all the pages that are built in there. Here's an example of what one of those looks like. In this sitemap URL that iControl provides is at sitemap.txt. So how do we get the sitemap into Google? Well that's pretty simple as well too. Once you have your account created, and you can go to your Webmaster Tools down here, and you can hit Add a Site. When you hit Add a Site, all it wants to know is the URL to that sitemap. It will index it. It will pull it in. It'll tell you how many pages it found, uh, how many search words and positions that, that they're at gives you a little bit of information that we're not going to cover in this video today. But let's take a look and see just how well they do do in the search engines. So we'll come up to here and we'll type in, they're a Colorado Dude Ranch, so let's type in Colorado Dude Ranch. And you'll notice they come up number four in the list, which is pretty impressive since they only do a little bit of of content manipulation inside of their iControl Web Studio in order to get these results. Again, iControl Web Studio has some very nice tools in it to make this part of your world a lot easier. It is very friendly to the search engines and they help you organically get up on top pretty quickly. There's also some other dude ranches in here that are doing a little bit better a little bit worse. One of the things that I don't worry about is making sure that my customer is number one. While number one is good, number one's not always the best. A lot of times people will scroll down a little bit and look to see the different descriptions and things like that. What you really want is you want a good title, and we'll talk about this in a minute, a good description. We'll also talk this about this in a minute. Because what you really need is you need the customer to click on it. You can be number one all day long, but if nobody clicks on you, what's the point? But if you're number three or number four, um, then you're going to stand a good chance of, of getting a click. iControl works really hard for you to get your pages laid out, HTML friendly for the search engine bots, so that your organic results are going to be pretty good without a whole lot of effort. As you can see here, Colorado Dude Ranch, Harmel's came up number four out of 312,000 results for Colorado Dude Ranch. So now on to our next step, doing a little bit of research. With every good process comes a little bit of homework. And again, Google provides us some tools that make this pretty easy. So let's go ahead and look at the available tools. Using Google's keyword tool is an extreme boost to the do-it-yourself web people that are out there. Again, these are those little tiny secrets that the webmasters try to keep hidden from the rest of the world. But again, these are free tools. These are open to the public. They're available for anybody to use. And they are what you're paying them to use. So let's use them ourselves. Because we're new at this, 
Let's go straight to website content. Let's tell Google to just go look at that page. And we'll let Google tell us what it thinks our keywords need to be. Just based off of the content that we have there. Now, it'll take this a minute or so. It's not huge. It's not a long time. But the results come up pretty quick. Here we go. So, as you can see here, Google has come up with a variety of keywords that we need to highlight and make sure are prominently displayed in our content within our site. It looks like Dude Ranch is the number one searched phrase, but that's fairly broad. Um, it's, it's, when I say fairly broad, I mean when you cast a net out, Dude ranches from coast to coast are going to be fighting for this spot. Now, would it be nice to be up there? Sure, because not everybody may want to go to Colorado. But if you are geographically specific, try featuring yourself geographically first and then start working your circle out further and further. So here's a list of keywords that Google thinks that we need to concentrate on. It's really that simple. There's your research. There's your homework. That part is done. So now that we have our keywords, we need to concentrate on our content. Content is king in this business. A lot of the companies out there will manipulate the keywords a little bit here, manipulate the descriptions a little bit there, but these search engine bots are pretty smart. They're going to look at the content, and there's ways that it's going to go surfing through your site in order to find what it feels is relative content. So let's go take a look at Harmel's again. So there's a lot going on here. Search engine bots have to filter through all of this. What's the easiest way? Real simple. You tell it where your content starts. And in this case, that content starts right here. And how do you tell it where your content starts? You tell it using the heading one or the H1 tag in HTML. That's what the Google bots, the Bing bots, Yahoo bots, they all go looking for that because it assumes that if there's a, if there's a heading tag that the content's going to start really quickly after that. Now let's take a look at editing this page so that we can find where the H1 tag needs to be. And if you're following along with this video and you're not using iControl Web Studio, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and show you the source so that you can edit the source of your pages with whatever editor of your choice happens to be. Here's, here's our page management console. This is where all the pages reside in iControl Web Studio. We're going to go ahead and edit the home page for this Harmel's website. We'll edit this object. Let's go ahead and make this bigger so that we can see it. So here's the home page for this website. And here we go. If you click on here, you'll notice that the editor is using the format tag for heading one or the H1 tag. Let's look at the source and see what it looks like. This is just really quick, down and dirty. Here's the H1 tag right here. So this is what the bots are using in order to find the start of the content. This is how you tell this Google and search engines where does your relevant content start. Okay, now this is where those keywords come into play. So let's go back and look at those keywords real quick. So, Dude Ranch Vacations, Dude Ranch Vacation, Dude Ranch, Dude Ranch Family Vacation, they're all here. Does Harmel's have them in the relevant content? Well, if we go back and look at the editor, you'll notice right out the gate, not only do they have these keywords relevant in the content, but these keywords actually link to other pages inside this website that has relevant content as well. Huge, huge, did I say huge for the search engine bots. They're smart enough, they know this, they understand this, and when they start seeing a chain of links throughout your website from content to content from page to page that is relevant across the board they're gonna give 
this particular website a lot more weight when somebody types in the search phrase. That's obvious by the fact that Harmel's came up number four out of 312,000 web pages out there. Okay, now we see how the H1 tag is extremely important for the Google bots. We also see how having keyword rich content is important to the bots. And we see how having that those keywords linked to other pages with inside the site that's relevant to the key phrase is also very important. The next step is page titles. We need to make sure that our page titles are just as relevant. Okay, so in eye control, we have the ability to look at what page properties are, what the search engine properties are, and so on. So the page title for pages is in the search engine property area. So let's head over there and take a look at that. If you're managing your own pages, by yourself or you're using an HTML editor you're just looking for the title tag inside of the HTML content and, and the title tag that's up at the top of the HTML code is where your page title or your browser title is going to go. For eye control we make it simple. We give you the page browser title, the page descriptions and the keywords right here one place easy to edit. Remember our homework we had keywords we know what needs to be in the title. That homework was a request from the home page. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that keyword tool can be used on any page throughout your website or any product to help you better write that page or that product description. It doesn't have to be for the whole website. You can do this at the page level and you can go and manipulate every page within your website. I highly recommend it. It will boost your traffic tremendously. Keeping that in mind, again, you want to make sure that there's some keyword functionality. Those phrases are in the page title. That has bearing on what Google is going to decide when it returns results. Other information that is vital is the page description. You need to make sure that the page description includes some of those high-end keywords and key phrases. Also, page keywords. The difference is, is a page description is going to be a paragraph written type of information. Keywords and key phrases are going to be a common delimited list. Both of these serve a purpose. Both of these need to be rich in those keywords that the Google Keyword Tool told us to use earlier in this video. That's the mechanics of what needs to be edited in your website. It's pretty easy and it's pretty simple. So let's go over the list one more time. Number one, are you actually indexed? Number two, what keywords do you actually need? Number three, use heading tags or H1 tag to start your content on your page. Number four, use keywords inside your content when you write your description or the paragraph about your product or services. Number five, link those keywords to other relevant pages with inside your website. Number six, use keywords in page titles, in your page titles. Number seven, use keywords in the page description. Number eight, use keywords in the page keywords section. These are eight steps that need to be done at the very bare bones minimum to your home page. But these eight steps can be applied to every important page on your website. And I would do a keyword search using the tool for each relevant page because the list of keywords that Google thinks you should use is going to be a little bit different for each page. This is extremely important to understand that what Google thinks you should be using, you probably should be using. The next step in good organic rankings is getting people to link back to your website. That's very vital. Google, for one, 
gives a lot of weight to page ranking. There's a lot of people on the internet who think that your products and services are worth linking to. Google's going to think that you might have something good to link to. They're going to try and deliver your website before somebody else's. Alright, who is linking to us and why? These are two very good questions that are easily found through using Google again. Let's go back to our Google search and the first thing that we're going to type in is we're going to type in link colon and our domain name. I like using it without the www because I get more results that way. And hit search. Now Google's going to tell me right off the bat what websites are on the internet that link back to Hormels.com. Right now there's 253 links out there so let's go look at a couple of these. Okay, Gunnison, Gunnison Crested Butte Com. Looks like there's a travel guide. As we can see here, there's over 253 links. That's not too bad. The next step is trying to find out who's talking about us. Threaded forums are a real popular way. These are discussion groups that people will chit chat about. And that's a, that's a good source of information for us as well. So we're going to replace link with forums. And this will give us a list of all of the threaded forums that are out there, a few other pages, that will, that will have information where other people may be talking about us. Okay, so we came up with 74 results. And guys, there's just all kinds of information on the internet. It's really good to know what people are saying about you and how they're linking back to you. Like right here, Fly Fish South. We stayed at Harmel's Guest Ranch, harmels.com, and fished our first full day. Jump in here. Jump on these forums. Create an account. Respond to the people that are talking to you. Get the dialogue going. This dialogue is going to boost traffic. Remember, more links, more traffic. More exposure, more traffic. The more you communicate, more traffic. It is just in your best interest to spend a little bit of time each week messing with the forums. Well, with forums you cannot leave out blogs. And yes, Google will search blogs as well. So just type in blog and you're gonna come up. Here's that Hawaiian vacation again. Who knows? It is just incredible at what people will talk to you about. Here is Carrie's blog. Okay, she talks about Harmel's and the Dude Ranch. Jump on there, leave a comment, talk about your Dude Ranch. They're obviously have it's obviously important to them that they blogged about it. There's 81 people that blogged about this Dude Ranch. Utilize these tools that are available to you to go out to these different websites and create dialogue, create communication, and and and. Use links back to your website. Talk about this product. Talk about that service. Make sure that the link back to your website is, a, is in your signature. Create these accounts. Go online. Spend a little bit of energy. And all of this will pay off tenfold in traffic. Traffic is vital to your day-to-day -day business online. You think about it. If you have some questions, go ahead and leave a comment for me. We can help you out. I'll make sure that links to all of these tools are in the show notes so that you'll have quick and easy access to them. And I hope that you spend a little bit of time just manipulating your website. Just do one page at a time for starters.